Hey what's up guys, Love Day here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick office tour um, of my office. I moved recently and uh, had to lug that around. Uh, so I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm working with now. Um, that sounded quite suggestive. Uh, let's move on to the corner uh, of crap. So basically this is where I have all my spare stuff. I've got my vibe there, uh, my spare wheel, my old headphones, the bean bag if anyone wants to sit. Um, then we've got the, the, the stuff thing. Uh, ignore the tissues and the baby wipes there for my use only. Then, uh, moving on to the rusty old, look at this, how nasty is that? That's just where I've been, you know, sitting on the chair. Um, my old DX racer, I got that in like 2013. Um, yeah, it works, it does its job, I can sit on it. It hasn't died on me yet, so uh, I'm, I'm keeping it. Um, moving on to the desk, I got this big old fat desk from Viking? Maybe Viking? Com? I don't know. Uh, it's one of those spend a load of money and you get a you get a desk. So I did that. Uh, let's spin around here. Looking at it this way. So we've got my notepads in the corner, a box for a PS5 that I overpaid for because I fucking wanted a PS5, so I bought a PS5. Uh, and now I'm broke. So there's that, a headphone holder that I don't use anymore. Uh, a succulent because why not? Speakers, Logitech G. 25220, the light up ones, they're cool. Um, they sound good, it's got a little sub underneath as well. Uh, that's cool. Semi important stuff, obviously, this is all just my gaming, my normal gaming setup, because uh, I do other things than race. Um, as you could probably tell uh, by this insert of the playtime that I have on Escape from Tarkov. Yeah. That's a lot of playtime. Right, MSI Mag 341CQ. That is the curved ultra-wide monitor that I use to play all my games. And my god, I love it. I love it so much, I actually bought it twice. Um, so that is actually the same monitor for my rig. I'm gonna squat down a little bit. Moving on slightly uh, to the Asus VG some, something or other. That's my 144Hz spare monitor that's plugged in via HDMI, so I can't use 144Hz, but it was my spare monitor, so now it's also my spare monitor. Then, other interesting points, I guess. Cooler Master keyboard, it's cool, I like it, lights up, it's awesome. Uh, Zowie mouse, that's, that's about it for that. Now, moving on to the important bit, which is the rig. Here we go. Look at that. So obviously you saw me build this in a uh, video, um, video format, I guess, uh, is the Simlab P1X using the single arm monitor mount. God, we need to get rid of those boxes. That is disgusting. Anyway, what we got on there, we've got the Fanatec V3 pedals with the brake performance kit and the damper kit. Uh, really like those pedals. Really bloody good. Uh, also on there, we've got uh, a ring light because why not? This is all my girlfriend stuff, by the way. She can have a hovel in the corner. Um, <laughs> I've got my Logitech C920 for my webcam. Uh, I did have a foot cam, but I've taken it away because uh, the lighting was awful and the camera quality was shite. Uh, and at the back here, we've got the Fanatec DD1 PS4, which also works on the PS5. Uh, as you can see, I've also got my flight set up as well, which I've mounted. Um, I enjoy flight sims. I've got DCS. I've been playing a lot of uh, Elite Dangerous as well, actually. And the way that I've got that mounted up is that the P1X actually came with two spare um, profiles like that. So that's what I've used them for. Uh, it looks like it's floating a little bit, and there's hardly any movement to it. So actually, you know what? I'll I'll take it. It works. That hasn't broken on me yet. So there you go. Same again on that side. Basically floating like that. Uh, easily immovable as well. You can literally just undo these two bolts here on either side and then you just slide it forward Which is why it's kind of all scratched up, but you know It works computer This is a really bloody old case and it needs dusting out uh, I've cleaned the inside, but the uh, the case needs <laughs> case needs to clean uh, Inside here. I think this is a Corsair K70. No, that's a, it's a keyboard It's something along those lines uh, That is the case Looks like a gun box. And inside we have a 3700X 
with a 2080 Ti with a bunch of SSDs and stuff. The other stuff is unimportant. You've got 16 gig of RAM, uh, pretty high hertz and stuff. It, it run game good. That's, that's what that is. Um, back here, we've got my Astro A50s. I wanted wireless headphones because going from here to playing games to there to racing and then back, I had a cable that was running all the way around, which is why I retired my old, my old beautiful Sennheisers. They don't make any more. So they have pride of place right here. They live there now. No one touch them. And back to the rig. We've got the OMP TRS-E. Uh, brilliant seat, really cheap. Just bolted straight on. I love it. Pretty comfortable. Uh, a lot of people have been asking in a couple of other, other videos if it's comfortable. Uh, it's a bit snug. But other than that, I can happily sit in that for hours on end. Um, some barely mounted foam in the corner. Uh, corners make echo bad. So I put some stuff there and it didn't work and they kept falling down. So that's what I'm left with. The rest of it's sitting behind just there because I need to mount it properly. Monitor arm and keyboard tray. It's supposed to be a laptop tray, but I use it as a keyboard tray. So basically what I do here, is I spin that around like that and like that and then when I'm racing I can see my OBS and potentially if I'm live streaming Twitch chat or YouTube chat depending on where I decide to stream and I've got my keyboard there and then what I do with my stream deck put my stream deck there and I can change all my OBS settings in there look at that that's basically where I live <laughs> at the moment uh, and then I use that for drinks because I don't want it on the floor so I have a little a little Union Jack box that I don't know where it came from I just acquired I acquired two of them and now I have two of them yes easy enough to swing back to spin back to normal it's just a little swivel and there's that best 20 quid I've ever spent <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the microphone, we've got the Rode PSA1 arm with a Audio Technica AT2020, uh, USB condenser, all that stuff. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I wish I could have better audio quality, but uh, I'm too lazy to figure it out. So I just stick with uh, what I use, which is the NVIDIA Broadcast noise cancellation microphone stuff, which is sometimes what you hear popping in my audio is because the AI is trying to figure it out and it's it sometimes fails. Now, moving along to, I'm gonna sit in the rig for this. Whoop. The MSI again, same, same monitor as before. Uh, this is actually the first one I bought. So, it's the older one of the two. I uh, got my ring light up there to get some lighting. That was a Christmas present, that was really cool. And then my webcam which is sitting slightly wonky at the moment because I bumped into it a second ago while trying to show off some stuff. So that's my fault. The PS4 DD1 uh, V2 RIM, I guess. Yeah, the Formula V2 F1 style DD1 RIM with the cutout at the bottom. Really, really good RIM. Um, really massive fan of this RIM. Uh, works really well. Yeah, that's all I've got to say about that, really. Um, moving it over to obviously the Thrustmaster Warthog uh, throttle thing, which I can just slide back and forward. Uh, to be able to use it, use these, uh, I do need to take this off. So I've been playing a lot of Elite Dangerous at the moment, um, <laughs> hence no videos, I guess. Uh, so I've been flying with it a lot. The Fanatec shifter, really, really, really good shifter. Um, H pattern and sequential, um, once you flip the switch, and then the handbrake. So we've got those two there. At the moment, I can't do any drifting or anything because I've only got that rim or the McLaren rim over there. I need a round rim. Fanatec, if you've, uh, you've got my email, right? You wanna, if you wanna send me a rim, that'll be, that'll be appreciated. Oh, let's see if we can get out. So, yes, that is, um, that is my, my, my office at the moment. Um, I've cut, shut the curtains because uh, <laughs> if you look out there, you can tell exactly where I live. And uh, I don't want that. Well, you can pinpoint it from landmarks. I'd rather not. 
Um, yeah, it, that's that's my that's my rig. Cable management. Let's do a little bit of cable management. Look at this. Wow. Managed. Yes, uh, that is my office at the moment, and uh, yeah, I like it. So, and it works for me. And my girlfriend gets her little hovel in the corner, which is nice. Um, so, yeah. If you like this video, give it a like. If you really like, subscribe and play with the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video, whenever that may be. And, uh, yeah. I will get in the rig at some point and actually race. I mean, yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> uh, got any questions about any of the things that I've got? Um, I'll probably not know the answer, but I'll give it a go. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.